Animated unit visualizations have become an increasingly popular form of data storytelling. They are suitable for communicating data insights in a progressing manner and connecting viewers with compelling visual effects. However, it is challenging to create them as the process requires skills across multiple tools to put together multimodal elements into coherent and compelling pieces of content. They are especially hard to prototype due to the large number of individual data points and rich animation effects. To address these challenges, we propose Data Particles, a block-based, language-oriented tool for authoring data stories with animated unit visualizations. Data Particles enables creators to flexibly prototype, explore, and iterate on the textual narrative and corresponding visuals while maintaining the congruence between them. Let's take a look at Data Particles in action. Olive, a journalist, is about to create a story that introduces coffee pods to the public. She opens data particles in a web browser and imports her dataset describing the 28 promoted coffee pods. She adds a block to begin explaining the intensity of these pods. She hashtags intensity in the block, and data particles recognizes it as one of the columns in the dataset and automatically distributes the coffee pods by intensity levels across the horizontal axis. The intensity of coffee is often referred to as light, medium, or dark. So she adds another block and types in the sentence to introduce these terms. However, this time these words were not recognized by the system as they do not exist in the dataset. To define the terms relative to intensity, Olive clicks on the word light and specifies the mapping with the underlying data. The word then changes to blue, indicating it is now defined. She then defines medium and dark, and data particles reflects the changes by highlighting each section sequentially. Olive transitions to introducing the flavors of each kind of coffee. She adds a block and starts with, like coffees are. To find the right description here, she browses all the like coffee data rows that data particles highlighted for her, and finds that they share the similar aroma of sweet and fruity. As she sees the visualization, she realizes that the low opacity effect does not seem to fit in this case, so she adds the grayscale effect to the dehighlighted group. Looks good now! She wants to use the same visual style for the medium and dark copy, so she clicks the copy button. In the copied block, she clicks on the light word and uses the drop down menu to select other specified data values. As she selects medium, the highlighted group changes from light to medium with the same visual effects. She then repeats the process to create a block for dark coffee. Next, Olive wants to talk about different coffee types. She adds a block and writes, these coffee pods have five different types. Data Particles parses the sentence and shows different types of coffee by color. Reviewing the overall story, she decides she wants to try a different narrative by talking about different types of coffee before describing the intensity. She drags the block to the beginning to explore this new narrative. After changing the flow, she realizes that the visualization might be confusing because the pods are still distributed by intensity, which has not been introduced yet in this new flow. To ensure that the visualization logically progresses from the previous block, she clicks the Propagate button. Now the visualization only encodes type. To maintain the encoding for type in the next block, she clicks the same button in that block to propagate the encodings. As she is authoring, all the encodings are translated into plain text in this light blue box. Olive can choose to add these captions to help readers understand the visualization. She can also change the circle to a coffee pod to make the story more engaging. Once finished, she wants to share the story with others. Olive explores the different formats and ends up choosing the Scrolly article. Data Particles employs language-oriented authoring to enable creators to quickly create animated unit visualizations that match their story. The block-based authoring enables creators to freely explore different narratives while maintaining the congruence between text and visual. Collectively, Data Particles enables quick and flexible planning, prototyping, and iteration of data stories with rich animated unit visualizations. We envision that the proposed user interface and interaction techniques can broadly support the creation process of a variety of data stories.